Need for Speed has always been a series right at the top of my list whenever I'm in the mood for arcade racing, packed with flashy visuals, upbeat music, and a sense of speed to get that heart pumping. My issue with the last few releases has been their lack of interesting game mechanics that can keep my interest an entire playthrough. Need for Speed Unbound cherry picks what makes the previous games great and gives it to you here in one package while adding even more. Let's discuss. Need for Speed Unbound shows off its cell shaded characters and animated effects proudly. A decision that I interpreted as one that they chose as if to say, we're going all out, this isn't your uncle's Need for Speed, you ain't never seen anything like this before. And I was on board from that first trailer. They injected new life into the visuals, something that the series and the genre desperately needed. The designs of the cars and environments are still based on realism, but in order to add a splash of color and style, they created cartoonish animations for things like tire smoke, tail lights, and even the car itself transforming into a neon colored sketch pad doodle when initiating boost. Little drawn in eagle wings will show up when you take flight after a ramp jump. The spark when you hit other cars are exaggerated, because why not? And there's even a little animation before indicators show up on screen for navigation icons and things like that. Unbound never wants you to have a dull moment. There's always a new animation or sound effect that the player can experience by simply playing the game, drifting through high speed turns, boosting down long straightaways, or even bumping into opponents causing them to wreck out. They didn't stop at just the visuals either. Loud and purposeful sound effects are synced up alongside the visuals, like the car's boost, for example. Exhaust notes pop and overtake the game's audio as you launch the car. In fact, they knew that you were gonna love how the exhaust sounded, because they even let you purchase different exhaust tones in the shop. Anything that shows up on screen will usually have a transitional sound effect to accompany it. And there are tons of pop-ups on screen. I'm gonna pick just a random moment during a race to show you how audibly satisfying and busy the game sounds. My money is not going to go to you. It's almost like when YouTube videos use tons of jump cuts to keep your attention, or when children's cartoons try to keep your attention by cutting to random sound effects. I personally loved it, but I could see how the game might be too busy for some players. The camera movement and the music team up to add that final layer to an already glorious cake. The music and camera are dynamic. By that I mean they adapt according to the behavior of the car or race circumstance. If you boost into high speeds, the music will fade and the camera will shift further behind the car to allow you to focus and enjoy the moment. The music and camera return to normal once you come back down to normal speeds. The same thing takes place while falling deep into a drift. The music will fade and the camera will shift, providing a more dramatic angle of the car during a drift. Visually, the game exceeded my expectations. I'm a sucker for a well-stylized game. Hell, look at how well-remembered Underground 2 is. The visuals play a large part in that. What? She's street legal? You're right, and I'm LeBron. Look, I'm not gonna tell you not to race. I know what it's like to feel that need for, uh, that, you know, the need for, uh... For what? That's the gasoline talking. I'm not gonna spoil anything story related. The story in Need for Speed Unbound gets the job done. You play as an employee of a speed shop, task to rise in the ranks of an underground street world in order to avenge your father figure and owner of the speed shop. It gives you a reason to travel across the map to meet up at different event locations to earn money and upgrade cars. That's all I need from the story in a racing game. The previous Need for Speed games tried to do a little too much with their stories and the racing felt secondary. The dialogue can be a bit cringy at times here with the characters sounding a bit too enthusiastic. But that's something I've always noticed about the dialogue in racing games, especially the Forza Horizon series. 
I wish the voice actors could sound a bit more natural and not like they're reading a script. But back to my original point, I'm not here for the story. Need for Speed Unbound does that Symphony of the Night thing where you start with a fully powered car equipped with all the bells and whistles just to get a quick taste of the good life. And then for reasons, you must start from the bottom and work your way up again. You'll notice things like your nitrous depleting faster, the car handles like garbage now, and cars are passing you easily on the track. This is a good time to bring up how the game's racing mechanics work. Unbound focuses more on drifting to get around corners more effectively. Almost every corner requires you to throw the car into a slide to get around it because relying purely on grip alone just isn't enough for even the seemingly easier corners. I noticed upgrades you could apply for additional grip, but that's no fun. Stick with drifting as it rewards you with nitrous, since nitrous plays another huge role during racing. Dare I say, you'll have to constantly be managing your nitrous meter in order to be an effective racer. Build up nitrous by drifting, driving on the opposing side of traffic, near misses, and taking ramps into the air. My favorite thing to do is to exit a corner with nitrous applied right after the apex to achieve maximum power. Very satisfying when you're able to put it off. I like that they also bring back the perfect shifts from the PS2 games in some form. In this case, it's at the beginning of a race where you need to carefully place the RPM needle in the green zone to achieve a perfect launch. Opponents will rag on you during races, and some will even praise you. Before entering a race, you could place a bet with an opponent for additional winnings. There were times I didn't care that I wasn't able to get first place as the bet I placed made up for the loss. You set out for the night or day to participate in races scattered across the map. In addition to races, there are events like takeovers, which are like the drifting events in the underground games where you need to accumulate points to win. Also, there's vehicle escort missions to complete in order to unlock safe houses and cars. As you accumulate wins, you start to get noticed by the cops who chase you down and your danger meter goes up. Choose to go back to the safe house and bank the cash you've earned or stay out and multiply your winnings by racing some more. You risk losing it all when the cops bust you, which happened to me once after earning nearly $20,000. The cops send out helicopters and SWAT cars, making for a seriously stressful escape, a feeling that I haven't gotten since playing Need for Speed Rivals on the PS4. I loved it, I'm telling you, this game has layer upon layer of good game mechanics. Every single aspect of this game is exciting, even the tuning. Yep, you can upgrade your car as you'd expect. Reach new ranks for your car by upgrading it, which will enable you to enter more rewarding races. You have your typical upgrades, including ECUs, suspension, and even engine swaps. Wrap your car in new colors or equip some of the most bizarre body kits I've ever seen. But they look good. My favorite was an opponent of mine who had exhaust pipes routed to the each side of his car, which resembled devil horns. The upgrades in this game are bizarre, and I loved it. Change the appearance of your car's smoke effect to add that finishing touch. Even the wheel options are insane with these bottle cap style wheels which display stylized drawings of stuff. No spokes, just a canvas for a painting. You don't have to opt for the outlandish upgrades. All the familiar cosmetic upgrades are here from the older games. You can tell developer Criterion Software was very careful not to completely disregard what players loved from the previous games. On the contrary, it's all here. I think they took what players loved about the previous games. The cops from Most Wanted, the flashy style from Pro Street and Underground, the sense of speed from Rivals, and the world exploration from Underground 2, to name a few. They then added some new flair in the sound and visuals to distinguish itself from previous games. I would show some music, but it's all licensed tracks. Trust me when I tell you the music is great with a mix of hip hop and pop from all over the world. If you enjoyed the review and you think I earned your sub, please make sure to do so. It really helps the channel out. I would love to close in on 2,000 subscribers. I enjoyed my time with Need for Speed Unbound. If you're a fan of the series, especially the PS2 titles before they got too cinematic with the story, then do yourself a favor and try this game out. The pure arcade action is here in spades. They trim the fat here with Unbound. You're left with that jump in and out fun that makes the arcade racer genre great. There's a few more aspects of the game I couldn't even talk about because if I did, then that mean I'd have to spoil you a few key moments in the game for you. Also, there is an entire multiplayer online mode where you can create a character and explore the open world and queue up for playlists. And it worked the first time I loaded into it. Go figure. That'll do it for my first look at Need for Speed Unbound. Go play this game. Be safe out there and I'll see you on the next one. I'm literally doing this right now. That's it. Keep up with them. If we get pulled over, I'm gonna tell them you jacked me. Wait, what? <laughs> Just playing.
I'm glad to see you in the car with me. It's been a long time coming.